afternoon. This is uh, First Look from Washington. I'm Jim McGlinchey, and I'm the senior broadcast producer on the CBS Evening News with Katie Couric. And Katie's here in Washington with us today for the funeral of Gerald R. Ford, our 38th president of the United States. And uh, it's sort of a special day. Uh, when these things happen, the whole town becomes a, 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 a setting for a ceremony. And uh, today's was one of those, it was low-keyed, but it was very dignified. And uh, Katie's going to have all of that for us on the evening news tonight. The funeral service up at the cathedral, a lot of presidents, former presidents spoke. But we also uh, got to thinking about the Ford kids. They were probably kids when we were kids. And uh, looking at them now, they're all grown up. And Thalia Ashuris is here with me. And she's going to prepare a little piece on the kids today. What are you learning? Uh, all grown up like the rest of us, yeah. I guess, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, well, I think what I learned most of all just watching them through the funeral services is how very, very close they are. And Susan Ford and her younger brother Stephen, they're about not even 18 months apart in age. They're mm -hmm. very uh, close together this morning. Susan gave her her brother um, Stephen a, a tissue to deal with the tears there was, as they were standing in the, the Capitol steps. But what we learned was that Susan Ford, for example, had her senior high school prom in the East Room of the White House, which is, I bet no other teenager could actually say that. That's true, yeah. And, yeah. Uh, and I certainly remember Stephen Ford being an actor after the president left the White House mm -hmm. on The Young and the Restless and had a part in When Harry Met Sally. The others are, we don't know as much about, but uh, have been married and have children, and we'll find out soon. Right. And, and we first started uh, really noticing the children at, at this, and I, again, I say children, these are adults now. Now, really, yes. but uh, we first started noticing them when they uh, showed up at the head of the reception line in the Capitol next to their father's coffin saying uh, thank you to people and shaking hands, which was a very nice gesture, it seems, on their part. So we'll, uh, we'll have all of Thalia's story tonight on the evening news, and Katie will have a lot more, and we'll have some uh, interviews with Douglas Brinkley, the historian, and Bob Schieffer, who uh, also covered President Ford. So I hope you watch. Thanks.